Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, turn it, turn it off, turn it back. You're good. Rapid Trident is a multinational exercise that involves over 1,600 soldiers from 14 different nations. During this exercise, we will we'll stress every level of command from platoon through brigade with computer simulated exercises, situational training lanes, ultimately culminating with a, a force-on-force -force field training exercise. It's a chance for the Ukrainian military to uh, both display and test its capabilities, its military capabilities and their capabilities in operating with multinational partners, including the United States, NATO partners, and other Eastern European allies. The United States and Ukraine have had a relationship for over 25 years, and any time our forces can train with friendly military forces in an environment like this, it, it makes our soldiers better, it makes their soldiers better, and ultimately the interoperability between our nations makes the, the region more stable. The training that we're doing here at JMTGU is really ap applicable in any theater or any situation that they may deploy their forces in. The fact that they're taking on a, an exercise of this scale while they're modernizing their entire military structure and dealing with the, really an, an active conflict on their own eastern border and is really quite impressive. The last couple of years, the, they've really made a lot of progress. When the United States forces showed up in 2015, most of the training was at the individual level, with, and the, the U.S. was leading a lot, of, a lot of that training. Now the Ukrainians lead all the training from the individual level through the platoon level and in some cases the company level. With, with U.S. and allies just mentoring that training along the way. As that transition has taken place, we are now spending more time training the brigade staffs and battalion staffs and, and training and mentoring the CTC staff, the Combat Training Center staff, so that they'll be left with a, a, an institution that will carry on for, for years into the future. They have also just completed a state-of-the-art simulation center that will allow them to train everything from the platoon really through the division level in, in a computer assisted mode which will save them time, money, lots of other resources. One of the minor challenges we had in the beginning was some communications issues between the way they use their sergeants and the way that, that we use ours. Over time we've, we've helped them develop their NCO core and, and that that has now really turned into a, a great strength for the Ukrainian units that train here. As they develop their NCO Corps, their capabilities are, are increasing all the time. And so we've really used that minor challenge and, and turned it into a great strength for, for some of their units that have trained here. The 45th IBCT has, has been here in some form or fashion since January 2017. And this partnership has, has I believe it's, it's benefited the Ukrainian Army, but it's also done a lot for the 45th Infantry Brigade in terms of helping my soldiers develop. And, and this, has been a, this has been a great teamwork, and the Oklahoma National Guard is, is proud to be here doing this mission with the Ukrainians.